hi guys welcome in today's video we're gonna see how we can create a message sending application in our android studio but before we begin please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates now in our android studio first we're gonna design the layout so let's delete the text view first i'm gonna use linear layout you can use any layout you want Give the orientation to vertical. Now we need edit text to user input numbers. So create an edit text with a width, match parent and height wrap content. Give a hint phone number. And input type to phone. To user to only input numbers and the layout margin would be 8 dp now let's copy the edit text and create a second one and i will set it height to 100 dp the hint will be type a message and the input type will be text long message and I will give his gravity to top now we have to create a button to perform the sending action Now we have to give these three views an ID so we can find them in Java code later. For the phone number edit text, I will give the ID number. For the message edit text, it will be message. And for the button, I will give send. Now we need to go to our Android manifest file and here we will declare a permission. The permission will be sent SMS. This permission is needed for user to send SMS to the another user. Now we can close this file and go to our main activity.java. First, we will initialize our edit text, first number and the message. And now we will initialize the our button, call it send. Now we have to assign them to their following IDs. Now we will call set on click listener on this button. New on click listener. Now in here we could type the message sending code, but because we have permission issues in our application, so we need to type this code more than one. That's why I'm gonna put it in a method. So go to the outside of the on create method and here create a method private void send sms now we need to store the edit text value in a string to do that string phone number equal to 
number dot get text to string dot to trim semicolon exactly do that for the other edit text now we need to call sms manager call it sms manager equal to sms manager dot get default now call the sms manager object dot send text message the and the first parameter that it will take the number of the user and the second parameter will be null and third parameter will be the message itself third parameter send it null and the fourth parameter also be null for our example semicolon after message is successfully sent we will display a toast message and the toast message will be message is sent but this code may generate error for this we have to wrap it in a try catch and in the brackets we will paste these three lines and if any errors occurs we will display an error message in the catch so message will be fail to send message now in our on click listener we have to ask for the permissions if you didn't watch my permission request video you can check out that video in our info card section or link of the video will be available in the description and here we can simply call our send sms method and in the else we can simply request and permission and now let's test the app to see how it's work let's give a number and now let's give a text click the send button it asks for the permissions allow it and click the send button again you can see the message is sent thank you guys for the watching this video and if this video is helpful please leave a like take care